need to complain. Yeah. Well, why didn't David did this or any other prophet Moses or why? why it's the, Do you know the first, when? Uh, how old was Rebecca when she got married? Three years old. So, no one will tell you that. Yeah. No priest will tell you that. Who's Rebecca? In the Bible, Rebecca well, was married. Well, no, Rebecca is a famous individual in the Bible. Yeah. Okay, but the wife of who? Who David? Isaac. No, 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 Isaac. not Rebecca. Isaac. 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 Yeah. No priest will tell you that because he knows the game will be up. There. Before I go to the next um, deviant act, do you have a question? Yeah, we want to. Okay. Uh, we want to deal with this, right? Because we keep pointing out that. When we say Aisha was nine years old, and then we back it up with source after source after source, um, we get responses from uh, some of our Muslim friends in the chat, and they'll just make things up. Uh, they'll make things up about Islam. They'll make things up about Christianity. They'll make things up about the Bible. They'll make things up about the Quran, and they just don't seem to care. Now, guys, you have to pay attention. This is a this a for methodological purposes. Watch what happens here because we ask for a source. Very easy to put a bunch of things up on the screen. If you're not paying attention to actually what's going on, you could fall for it, right? Okay, so let's go through this, Sam. You ready? Yes, sir. So this is from Muslim Now. Let's read. Uh, let's go ahead and read through this because he's going to put all this together and come up with an age of three for Rebecca. You ready? Okay. One, true or false? Sarah gave birth to Isaac at the age of 90, Genesis 17. Well, yeah, she was 90 years old and Isaac was born. Well, then you're busted because let's keep oh. going. Two, Sarah died at the age of 127, according to Genesis 23, 1 through 3. True or false? Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, aha. Ready. Now, three, the incident on, on Mount Moriah, Genesis 22, and the birth of Rebecca happened at the same time. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, where are you getting that from, dude? No. Yeah, where are you getting it from? Yeah. In fact, CP will take Shahada and say, that Allah is Satan and Muhammad is his messenger. If you can show in Genesis 22 that it says Rebecca was born at that time. Yeah. Now, guys, see see why I said you have to yeah pay very careful attention, right? If if the Assyrian Encyclopedia and Christian prints um, don't immediately know what you're talking about when you say Rebecca was three years old, then it's probably you should be thinking there's probably not evidence for it. And then we ask. Now, notice, guys. I, the reason I'm pointing this out is. Notice when you put something like on this this on the screen, someone might be looking at this and say, "Well, he's giving references there. He's giving references, so I guess he's making a slam dunk case here, mm -hmm. right?" Notice everything depends on number three there, the incident on Mount Moriah in Genesis twenty-two, and the birth of Rebecca happened at the same time when you go down to the bottom. Yeah. Next comment: When Isaac was thirty-six or thirty-seven yeah. years old, same time when Sarah died, Genesis twenty-three. The verses all looked together. It tells us that Isaac was thirty-seven years old when Rebecca was born. He's telling us to read it. Look, friend, I will take Shahada. Okay, here you go. Okay, okay. He wants to read Genesis chapter twenty-two, twenty to twenty-four. Let's read it. After these things, Abraham was told, Milcah has also borne children to your brother Nahorn. Uz, his firstborn, Buz, his brother, Camel, the father, Aram. Now watch what he did. Kesed, Hazo, Pildash, Jitla, and Bethul. This then is, a, this is amazing. This no, is no, amazing no, it's 23. deception. Okay. Yeah. Bethul became the father of Rebecca. Milka gave birth to these eight to Nahor, Abraham's brother. His concubine, whose name was Ruma, also bore Tiba, Gaham, Tahash, Mecca. He took a passage <laughs> that talks about this is that horrible. Bethul, who's related to Abraham, was the father, became the father epic, and assumes it happened that moment. Yeah, he, he, he says, after these things, Abraham was told, Yes. Milka has also born children to your brother Nahor. Nahor, yes. Then it goes into a genealogy. Yes. Then it starts giving the genealogy. So and then it mentions Bethul became the father of Rebekah. And then it mentions Bilka gave birth to these eight to Nahor. So it mentions Bethul who's related to Abraham, that he too had a child. Because why she mentioned she's going to be important later in the narrative because Rebecca is going to be the the wife of Isaac. But if you just go to Genesis 24, for the life of me, David. Should we read it? Should we read a little bit of Genesis 24? Yeah, 24. Read. I want, as you read it, here's what I want to understand. How many three-year-olds go and get water from a well and take care of flocks? Mm -hmm. How many three-year-olds understand at the age of three... This man is going to come and ask for my hand in marriage. Maybe in his world, in Islam's world, where you have talking trees and talking stones and food that talk and Muhammad writing on, a, on a, an animal 
that's between a donkey and a horse, a mule, and ascends throughout the seven heavens. Maybe in that world, in that sick world, right? Or when Satan stays in your, the upper part of your nose and you got to flush him out water, or stars are missiles that, that you hurl a gin. In that world, three-year-olds go to the wells, draw out water, and take care of flocks. Because I'm sure you had your three-year-old son doing that too, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and read, read, read some of this. And guys, we're... we're, we're this isn't just nitpicking here, right? I mean, there's the point that's under discussion, but then there's the larger point, which is, why do they do this, guys, right? Yeah. We, we quote their sources, we tell them what's in their sources, we give them their sources, and then in response, they make up a bunch of stuff yeah. and try to misrepresent people that they claim to respect in the Bible, right? What What is up with this religion? So let's just read a little bit real quick, and then we'll hand it back to CP. Uh, so this is from Genesis 24. Uh, the, the basic idea is Abraham said, go back to my homeland and get a daughter, I mean, get, get a wife for my son Isaac. So he sends his servant with some stuff. All right, so verse 10. Then the servant took 10 of his master's camels and departed, taking all sorts of choice gifts from his master. And he arose and went to Mesopotamia, to the city of Nahor. And he made the camels kneel down outside the city by the well of water at the time of evening, the time when women, the time when women go out to draw water. And he said, O Lord, God of my master Abraham, please grant me success today and show steadfast love to my master Abraham. Behold, I am standing by the spring of water, and the daughters of the men of the city are coming out to draw water. Let the young woman, to young woman, not toddler, not baby, let the young woman to whom I shall say, please let down your jar that I may drink, and who shall say, drink, and I will water your camels. So she's taking up the water pot and carrying it to, 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 uh, to, to the camels. Drink, and I will water your camels. Let her be the one to whom you have appointed for your servant right? Isaac. Three has to be, has to be. Yeah. By this I shall know that you have shown steadfast love to my master. Before he had finished speaking, behold, Rebekah, who was born to Bethuel, the son of Milcah, yeah. the wife of Nahor, Abram, Abraham's brother, came out with her water jar on her shoulder. Do, do, you have, do you have any idea what a water jar would be that you use to, to, to give camels a drink? Yeah. Right? All right. But three-year-old, she can do it. She was she's like got Hercules. Yeah. She's got to, right? Yeah. Allah has strength. The young woman was very attractive in appearance, a, a maiden whom no man had known. Why are they talking about no man knowing her if she's a, if she's a baby or a toddler? Yeah. She went down to the spring and filled her jar and came up. Then the servant ran to meet her and said, please give me a little water to drink from your jar. She said, drink, my lord. And she quickly let down her jar upon her hand and gave him also a drink. When she had finished giving him a drink, she said, I will draw water for your camels also until they have finished drinking. A three-year-old is so, going to do this. So she quickly emptied her jar into the trough and ran again to the well to draw water. And she drew for all his camels. The man gazed at her in silence to learn whether the Lord had prospered his journey. So keep in mind, right? You don't have a, a nice little plastic jar like this, right? You're dealing with some, some really seriously uh, heavy material and enough to water camels. Have, have any of you ever seen how much a camel can drink? And he's got all of these camels. And this, so let me get this straight. This little three-year-old girl yeah. is carrying around this just giant jar. She's going down, filling this whole thing up with water, enough to go and water a bunch of camels. And she's three. But let me see, let me explain again. This confirms what CP said. They're illiterate, even though he meant they didn't know the book. He took the the annunciation to Abraham. This is how now I can see why he could misread it this way because again he's following Muhammad. He assumed that when the report came to Abraham, Milka has also borne children to your brother Naho, that she bore children then. No, there was no internet, there was no email, there was no rapid transportation. The text is simply saying that word got to him at that time that now that Milka had given birth. Yeah, so so they're. Uh, but he's taking a no right now, children. So in other words, yeah. she dropped out eight kids right yeah. that moment. They all came up. Blip 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 blip. Notice, so uh, so so no, they're in a completely different part of the world, right? They're in a different part of the world. His family members, different part of the world. There is no email. The only time you'll get notification of something is if a traveler eventually shows up and bothers to tell you the news from back home. So he tells her, "Oh, and by the way, let me tell let me tell you what's been going on with the family." Our Muslim friend says, "Oh, when he says when he says that us uh, that Rebecca's been born, this means like right then, right then she's been born, not years earlier, right then, 
It happened right then, right when all of this was going on. And you, and so we, we have to read all of this about a young woman who's leading, who's leading the animals around, doing the farm work, who is three years old. Yeah. So you understand the logic of the Muslim? He takes the report given to Abraham. Hey, Milka gave birth to your brother Nahor. She's born children to me. Oh, right now? You mean as I was up on the mountain about to kill Isaac, she just popped out eight kids? As opposed to assuming what the text is saying is, hey, you probably haven't heard. Your brother has children from his wife. It doesn't mean that moment. These kids were born years before, but the word only came to him, got to him at that moment. That's number one. And this proof that it's not saying, the text is not saying that they were born right then, that they were born right then. Proof that doesn't mean they were born right then. You read Genesis 24, she's already a mature woman who can carry, what did she carry again, David, on her shoulder? Bunch of water. Bunch of water. But wait, you know, maybe again, you know, it's possible because remember, Muhammad, his mother was pregnant with him for four years before she gave birth to him. In fact, CP. Let's see if I can get this up on the up He's going to put it up. Here. Watch. But I'll CP, put... here, here's what I want you to do. As he puts it up, <laughs> maybe this guy is thinking that this is one of the miracles of Allah. You know, that three-year-olds can start speaking and do activities that only mature women and men can do. Because isn't it true that according to the Islamic sources, Muhammad's, preg Muhammad's mother was pregnant with him for four years? Yes. And uh, as you see, uh, my friend, uh, uh, Rebecca was very easy for her as a three years old to feed or to give water to the camel. Camel only need 200 liters of water, 53 gallons. And Rebecca was doing that. Obviously, Rebecca was very, very young. Yeah, yeah. No, Superwoman. So, so notice, 53 gallons, and it said in verse 10 that he took 10 camels. So it, 530 gallons of water that this three-year-old toddler would have carried. My goodness. Wait, wait. Do you see what it says there? A typical camel can drink 200 liters, 53 gallons of water in, in three minutes. In three minutes. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> It's a miracle, man. Why are you guys laughing, man? Wow. Denying it. See? So, I don't want people to think so, running away. You're 